I, Edie Michelson, being of sound mind and restless hand, assure you that at 1.30 a.m. I'm not just fascinated with the time. Nor am I wide awake because of my husband Bob's snoring. It's a comfort, really. I know he has an early appointment. I'm not concerned about my seven-year-old Debbie or my nine-year-old David. Then what is it? Look at me. Do I look like the type of woman who doesn't know her own mind? Oh, how right you are. Oh, I know now what's keeping me awake. Two hours ago, I didn't. early to bed, and most nights I'm sound asleep by 10.30. This night, here I am tossing and turning. I finally decided some milk and cookies might help. kitchen. I did what any normal red-blooded American woman would do. <laughs> Relax, Edie. Everything's all right. Everything's not all right. Over here, Edie. Who are you? Where are you? It's not really important. Well, what's all this about? Ah, this is important. But you must be tired of standing. Here. Make yourself comfortable. Milk and cookies, you said? Now, Edie, about the kitchen. That's a good place to start. What happened to my kitchen? Was it ever your kitchen, Edie? I can do without the funny stuff, but not without my kitchen. I want it back. But wouldn't you rather have the kind of kitchen you've always wanted and always needed? You mean a dream kitchen? You could call it that. Oh, who wouldn't? Go ahead. Amaze me. I'm quite sure you'll amaze yourself. Now? Any time. My dream kitchen? Maybe you see it. I don't. Well, that's because you haven't uh, planned it yet. Me plan a kitchen? Oh, I wouldn't know where to start. Well, start with you. With me? It's going to be your kitchen, isn't it? Oh, you mean how I operate in the kitchen or would like to. Exactly. Incidentally, I had enough to eat. <laughs> I forgot all about it. Then maybe you'll want to take some notes as we go along. Ready? Aim and fire. Okay. Some things to consider about you in planning your kitchen. First of all, cooking. If you have the type who's anxious to get the cooking over with so you can do something else, a compact kitchen is the only answer. On the other hand, if you truly enjoy tempting the family with new dishes, you'll want one of the two basic types of cooking centers. A section of your kitchen definitely planned around your talent and interest in cooking. Then, if you do a lot of sewing, plan a sewing and mending center too. or a management center, headquarters for all your daily household duties, scheduling, ordering, planning meals, keeping records. You may include the laundry for step-saving convenience. I suppose, I suppose a lot of people are doing that today. Doing what? having the laundry in the kitchen. I'd really prefer a separate laundry room, if that's all right. Well, the whole idea is to plan your kitchen the way you want it. And that includes cabinets. Few women like reaching for things, but some would rather reach than do a lot of stooping. Hmm. Good for the hips, it said. 
probably by a man. Shopping? Maybe you like getting out to market two or three times a week. Or maybe it's a chore you prefer doing in a big way once a week. That's the current trend. But either way, plan it your way. Same with your three basic work centers, range, sink, and refrigerator. Some women like a cozy, ultra-efficient arrangement. But maybe you like the wide open spaces. If so, hang the efficiency habit your way, the way you want your kitchen. Get the idea, Edie? The kitchen should fit me, not vice versa. And your family, too, of course. You have two children? Debbie, seven. David, nine. And a husband. Well, of course. <laughs> Take that time of day when you're busy getting dinner and the family is busy getting in your way. <clears throat> Better plan for it. It can be very nice, this having the family comfortably near, provided they don't clutter your workspace. Maybe there's room for a family living area right in the kitchen. If not, the kitchen opens up to the living room. And how about outdoor meals? If you and your family like them enough, you should plan your kitchen to open directly on the outdoor eating space. Saves a lot of running back and forth. Then, if relaxed, informal parties are popular at your house, you can plan a wide pass-through between the kitchen and the living room. Children like to have friends in, too, usually at the most inconvenient times. And as they get older, it only gets more complicated. The best answer is a snack bar outside your workspace. And face it now, Edie. Whether you and Bob are entertaining friends or just yourselves, one sink isn't bigger than both of you. So why not plan on a double sink arrangement? Or, still better, two separate sinks. Say, that's a great idea, to each his own. Right, Edie. Well, that's a general idea of things to consider regarding your family. Make sense? Mm. You know something? What? All of these family points involve cooking, eating, and entertainment, and that's my department. That's right. That's why you need good planning to make it possible. Make what possible? Well, a chance for you to get some enjoyment out of these activities, too. <laughs> I'll buy that point. Okay? Okay. Then let's talk about your kitchen. But haven't we? Yes, but now let's get down to cases. You see, Edie, we've agreed on the importance of how you and your family like to live. But out of all these considerations must come one overall kitchen plan. Now, what is a kitchen anyway? Simply the logical arrangement of three main appliances. Refrigerator, sink, range, with counters in between and storage cabinets above and below. This is the basis for every good kitchen. Of course, how you vary your refrigerator center or your sink center or your rain center depends only on your own needs and preferences and the size and shape of your planning space. And today there's so much to choose from. Cabinets, a wide choice of steel cabinets with special storage and filler pieces available to make them adaptable to any kitchen plan. Counters, sinks and sink tops, a great variety of standard arrangements designed to fit every individual need. Appliances, a tremendous assortment of types, sizes, and models to choose from, virtually all offering automatic performance. Yes, Edie, today there's everything you need for a personalized kitchen, your own dream kitchen. There's, there's almost too much choice. It's confusing, I hardly know where to begin planning. <laughs> well, there are two answers to that, Edie. The first is really some basic do's and don'ts in planning your kitchen. For instance, you don't have to start your plan with a sink under a window. The sink can often be part of an island in the center of the room. You don't have to line your walls with cabinets or use all closed cabinets. Just plan the storage you actually need where you need it. 
On the do side, use a double sink if necessary, separate sinks if possible, and plan a sit down workspace within reach of the sink. And do use an automatic dishwasher, preferably built in. Your husband will probably appreciate it almost as much as you. Finally, provide as much well-lighted continuous counter space as possible. Also, make sure your refrigerator door opens away from any adjacent counter. There's more to planning, of course, but that's the general idea, Edie. Got it? You, your family, your kitchen. Half the battle is... Why, Edie, what's the matter? It's just impossible, that's all. What is? For me to ever have the kind of kitchen I want. Half the battle is simply knowing how to plan exactly what you want. And we've covered that. That's just the point. How can I possibly remember it all? Sure, I made a few notes. Now even they're gone. <laughs> Your notes, Edie? Here they are. Take a look. It's the other answer, Edie. Everything we've talked about, and a lot more, is right here. If you're going to be a kitchen dreamer, why not be practical about it? So that's what happened. And here I am, wide awake at 1.30 a.m. Simply because I couldn't get to sleep earlier. What did I? Oh, surely it was just a dream except for this. <laughs>